think we're live? Yeah, we're live. Hello, YouTube. How we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. Mm, coolest game I've played in a long time and the most fun I've had in a while. This one's really good, man. I've been having a blast with it. I played the shit out of it over the weekend and intend to continue playing the shit out of it for a while. Who do we have with us this evening? Check it out. It's two of my closest brothers in the world, Ryan Ossup and Jeremy McGee. What's up, fellas? Welcome in. <laughs> my eyes hurt from raw dog in the eclipse. Boy, you were not using protection while you were looking at the eclipse. Sir, I thought you were a man of science. I thought you knew better. Uh, which I actually got to watch the eclipse. Uh, I got a couple minutes of it. Uh, the boss man brought a couple pairs of uh, actual eclipse viewing sunglasses, whatever. And uh, <clears throat> and was passing them around so folks could go out on their break and have a look at it. It was pretty cool, man. I really enjoyed it. Tis eerie, but we I'm in no mood for talk. All right, so I've been working on this quest here. And I've made a little bit of progress, I think. Well, I'm actually not sure exactly what to do next. Hang on. I had a, a walkthrough pulled up. <clears throat> and I stupidly closed it when I started the stream. Like, I've been... I've been avoiding tips and tricks videos. I've been avoiding how-to stuff. Uh, and I'm only looking up stuff if I'm actually stumped. And on this one, I, I've followed everything I could think of, and they all turned into dead ends. Everything I've done so far has been a dead end. And I had noticed that there are a lot of these benches in this little village here where you can sit and pass the time. Uh, you can sit there and rest and pass the time. And I was like, oh, it's probably going to be something where you have to be there at like a specific time of day. And yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, you have to, let me see here what we're doing. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm supposed to like follow these guys. They're supposed to take off walking. Ah, okay. It's, yeah, they're supposed to take off walking and then you follow them. Allegedly. Yeah, here we go. Looks like this is going to be it. This is what I've been waiting for. Barappy, welcome in, man. What's going on, bud? Hello and welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> you've seen one, you've seen them all. Well, that's not entirely true because you have like solar eclipses and you have lunar eclipses uh, and stuff like that, right? So there's, I guess technically if you've seen two, you've seen them all, right? In two different types. You know, honestly, I think today was the first time that I've ever actually looked at the eclipse through a pair of like actual uh, the glasses for it I can't recall having ever done that before it was actually kind of cool I was like holy shit you actually can see it so we had a real good weekend um, got a lot done I got my taxes filed uh, got a good 10 hours or so in on this game. Uh, and also, I took Claire to the firing range. Yeah. I have my sexy British fiance, British fiance, at the firing range, man. You know, she's not crazy about guns. She is British. It's a cultural thing, you know. Not anything we're going to hold against her. It's a cultural thing. Uh, but yeah, we had a great time, dude. Had a really good time. We fired both of my pistols. Uh, we fired, well, I fired both of my pistols. Claire really doesn't like handguns. Uh, but, uh, she was super, she was, uh, she was more excited for the shotgun and the AR-15. And she did, uh, really good with those. Uh, here we go. Okay, so these guys are finally leading us. They're supposed to be leading us to, like, a tunnel or something, which... Oh, man, let me tell you, I had, this shit was not here. This shit was not here. I've explored this whole fucking area. This was not here. Uh, was there some kind of illusion hiding it from me or something? Tis not our Melissa! Oh, hang on one second. Let me... This looks this looks serious, Melissa. Uh, hey, y'all. Stressed. 90 days are coming to a close. Feels like my boss keeps bringing up 
the two families who like didn't like you uh plus they don't know oh plus one that they don't know about and you're currently working with 19 others so is it like a 90 day probationary period at a new job uh and they keep talking about poor performance or something that's bullshit man i remember you said there was that one where like the mom was like wanted a different type of session that you weren't prepared for when you got there because you had prepared for a specific session <clears throat> like that's kind of beyond that's kind of beyond your control man Dandy Denny 07, hello and welcome. Hi. Nameless Village Depths. I saw, oh, hang on. Uh, oh, man, this looks like some jumpy. Oh, shit. Man, y'all know how much I love jumpy puzzles. Oh, God. Oh, all right. <clears throat> babe, babe, come solve this jump puzzle for me. <laughs> Badoop. Yeah, I mean, that seems like pretty good numbers, right? That's what I was thinking, Dandy. Dandy Denny. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, uh, that's like, that's not bad odds, man. Bats. Bats. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm excited for this. Not. Uh, okay, we're looking up a walkthrough. I really do hate jump puzzles. Jump puzzles are the bane of my existence, especially in a third-person game, because just the perspective is just weird. At least in this one, like, the camera angles are generally pretty good. You have full control of the camera most of the time. All right, within, you'll find two jumping puzzles to navigate. These seesaw-like contraptions require you to jump onto one end to raise the far end. Try to jump to the next by landing in the middle rather than on one of the ends, lest you fall. The second puzzle adds swinging bags of rocks to the mix. If you have difficulty with these seesaws, consider changing your vocation at the end to that of a mage so you can use the levitate ability. That sounds like a brilliant fucking way to defeat jump puzzles. Just levitate. We may actually do that because I've been wanting to play as a mage and mess around with the levitate ability a little bit. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it seems straightforward enough, right? Oh, okay. Dandy Denny, you lurking while working on dinner? All right. Well, uh, cool. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, I, I do appreciate it. I'm, I love this game and I know like the views just aren't fantastic for it, but by God, I just want to play this damn game. So please give me all the views. <laughs> Like, you'll never hear me begging for views unless it's something I really, really want to just keep playing. Um, let's see. Melissa said, that mom. Oh, right on. Okay, so at least they were chill about that. Or at least thanked you for uh, trying to do a good job, you know, being flexible. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure. Do I want? Yeah, okay, I see. So we have the ladder here in case we fall. Uh, I may go down there and explore a bit anyway, just to see what's in those boxes. I know, right? I mean, that's kind of the thing, right? Like, I would like to think that folks would rather watch me playing something I'm having a blast with. But the shit that I really want to play, yeah, nobody's watching it. Like, uh, Mass Effect, I had to end that stream series because the views just weren't there, man. Um, what's another one we were playing on not too long ago? Uh, one I want to play. We were talking this morning. If y'all were here for this morning's uh, Claire's morning live stream today, uh, we were talking about a game called Kingdom Come Deliverance that uh, Claire was really excited about as folks were describing it to her. And I was like, yeah, man, I've been wanting to play that game forever. Like, I'm, I would totally be a big nerd for that game with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in it. Absolutely. If I thought anybody gave a shit about watching it. Okay, so let's try this. <laughs> and that's my experience with jump puzzles. Fall flat on your face on the first jump. It's interesting. This is actually the first jump puzzle I've seen in this game. I mean, there is like a lot of jumping and like trying to reach places, uh, trying to get to like hidden treasure and stuff like that. Okay, try running in a straight line, dude. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna try to get to the middle so it will balance. And then you want to hop toward the middle of the next one so it will balance. Oh yeah, okay, that's pretty straightforward so far. And get to the middle so it will balance. There we go. Okay. Yeah, all right, hey, check it out, man. We just defeated the first jump puzzle. Yeah, yo. And what's in here? Okay. Oh, Ryan, you, you said it. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, man. The views were so low. Yeah, right. And that, you know, and that's one that I kind of get it, actually. I, I do get Baldur's Gate 3 is one of those games that's a lot of fun to play, but not necessarily fun for people to watch me play because that is definitely one of those games where you spend a lot of time with the game paused, studying tactics, studying your gear, studying the terrain, uh, you know, trying to figure out the best approach for stuff. So I get how that could be uh, less entertaining for folks to watch, especially if you're not already a huge nerd for Dungeons and Dragons or if you're not just like excited for the Baldur's Gate games. Uh, so I, I, I get that one. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Like you said, man, the views were super low on it. Now, <clears throat> I'm an archer. Can I just shoot these out of the way? Right? No? Aww. Seems like you should be able to. Oh, okay. Let's go. Hey, I made it. Or I made the first jump at least. Uh, and this one doesn't have a swinging... <clears throat> swinging uh, scrotum full of rocks so if we can just get it balanced oh I see okay we're gonna have to time it pretty carefully okay, we'll keep this one balanced oh look oh okay that's possibly not is that loot down there for those enemies that's dead enemies that we could loot for supplies I'm just looking to see if there's anything down there I might want to go pick up Doesn't seem that way. And go! Ah, oh, we missed it. Dang it, Junior. Well, I'll go ahead and loot these corpses while I'm down here. Why not? And smash a box. Smash box. Any loot? No? Okay. All right, well, we'll give it another shot. I, I think I pretty much have the idea of what needs to be done here really does seem pretty straightforward as far as jump puzzles go they don't seem that bad jump ah <laughs> timing all right, it's a timing thing. <laughs> Maybe we should just go back and get the levitate skill. <laughs> oh, you're kind of digging like Lovecraftian horror and stuff. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh, I turned too far. That was dumb. That was entirely me. That was just my fault. I just let him turn the wrong direction. Okay. There we go. It is actually fairly forgiving. That's not fair. We should have made that one. Like, we actually should have made that one. Let's 
Stirring Abyss. I'm not familiar with that. I'm curious now, will it just dump you off of it if you let it tip too far? It, I bet it will, yeah. I'm gonna call Claire in here to solve this fucking jump puzzle for me. <laughs> oh, okay. It's underwater. You're in a submarine. You got to send out teams to go and get supplies so you can repair the sub. That's interesting. Kind of reminds me of Fallout Shelter, actually. Oh, okay. That was my own fault. That was just stupid on my part. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Hang on. Getting hot in here. No. Oh, it's turn based. Like grid style, like XCOM, yeah. You know, I really enjoyed XCOM, but damn, that game is hard. I never did beat it. <clears throat> See, it's easy enough getting to this point. Get it? Hey, we got it. Nice. Okay. Now let's go ahead and kick that ladder down. Yeah. Now we can get through there anytime. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. I think that was the last of the jump puzzles. We're done with that bit now. You made it after all. Yeah, right after I left your mom's house. Guess that means I win. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, it was so hard you didn't even have fun with it, yeah. Dear me. What? You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We sent them <laughs> We tried that first, so yeah, I guess I got fooled too. don't question it. Good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Nope. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. Mm. 
he'll near be part of our village again. That okay. all you wanted to ask? Uh, oh, yeah. okay, all here we go. This, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. Hmm. He fell off the jump puzzles. <laughs> so the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. Mm. And what mm, okay. a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. Well, if he's not the Arisen, he can't summon pawns. So it would actually be pretty easy to prove that he's not who he says he is. That's one thing that's really the only problem I have with this main story so far is like, you are actually the leader. You're, you're the, like the king of the kingdom, whatever. Uh, you're the sovereign. Uh, but someone has cast you out and is impersonating you, basically uh, pretending to be the, the sovereign who's the Arisen. The one who can summon pawns and stuff. Only the Arisen can summon pawns, so it would be really easy to prove, hey, that's me. Uh, yeah, that's actually me and not this guy because he's an imposter. Anyway. Me thinks he needs something to remind. Now, oh, as to the main Bill of arrest. All right. I'm not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential. Allow Okay. There's comfort in the humdrum of daily. I've naught to say to you. Nothing in here to pick up. Ah, there is some beast steak. Hmm. Oh, hey, there is some loot in here. Nice. Always be looting. 2,000 gold. <laughs> Miss your kick. Oh, can I not break this stuff? I want to break that barrel. No, nope, you can't break that barrel. Okay, never mind. Mm, some kind of thief weapon. Looks like daggers or something. Beef mm. pants, okay. Looks like that's about it. Can't break those either, okay. Mark my words. Greetings, master. Is this where you've been all this while? Our party is reunited. Surely we can. Why do you have your knives out at me? A reward for our efforts. I expect Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. All right. Shall we so yeah, that was interesting. Captain Brandt? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. The vanguard is yours. And where Lead is on. my fighter? Okay. And what's the current time? Oh, it's nearly morning. Yeah, let's go ahead and take off. Uh, and let's see on the map here. We're all the way. I think there was a spot where the roads are broken, isn't it? Maybe somewhere around here, the road is damaged. I may just fast travel back to town. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go. Go the long way. We might get to do some killing along the way. Ray, follow me. Okay, she knows the way. 
Maybe not. Not a foe in sight. Hmm. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. I have an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Hmm, actually, there is something over here. These are nice. Uh, these items will increase your carry weight. I have a knack for combining materials that I oh hope you'll find off. useful. I do wish that the pawns you meet out in the world would not just jump into conversation with you. You want to hire me, right? Fuck off, man. Over here, here, if you please. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there? Mm, I've actually already explored that cave. <laughs> Captain Caffeine! What's up, Cap? How you doing, buddy? Man, I'm getting so excited for Days Gone Calm. I just, just ride a... around the corner, man. Every I've ever served has faded different I grant you roaring flames. Bunch of bandits. I can't allow any further harm to come to you. No, sir. No, sir. We'll never get anywhere before we lose friends. I'm not sure why, but I'm feeling exceptionally fine today. Bandits and brigands. Okay. Take the path out of town to the north here. Yeah, you excited too? Right on. Oh, Ryan, that reminds me. Uh, I just wanted to confirm you did get the info from Claire, right? Uh, I remember there had uh, there was a little bit of confusion there. I just want to make sure you did actually receive the uh, the email or whatever. You should have all the That's info now. The, enemy right? the, upper hand. the early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Uh, she was asking <clears throat> asking me to verify that you got it. Are we leaving already? <laughs> Bother. I was just getting warmed up. I'm sure you Yeah, we don't need to worry about any of those enemies over there, guys. Or any of these either. Goblins and lizard men. I've killed so many goblins and lizard men now. It's like, yeah, I don't need any more of the crafting materials that they drop so just kind of disregard them oh the fucking griffin so i was playing over the weekend and this damn griffin dude he would jump in and attack us which he may be about to do yep we're under attack okay and then we'd fight him for a little while get his health down a little ways oh you can see now it, it's still showing his health bar it's kept up with my progress on this animal uh, on this monster uh We'll fight him for a little while, get his health down a little ways, and then he'll just fly off. I was like, dude, maybe you could just stop fucking with me if you don't want to hang out and get killed for the XP and the crafting materials and stuff. Just fuck off and quit attacking me. Either stick around and let me kill you or actually fuck off. I 
This is the best we've done so far, getting his health down. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. So I've used my simple attack, my basic attack for a minute while I wait on my stamina to regenerate. Hey guys. Hi, I'm I'm fighting a big bird thing. Yeah, it's a griffin. Love you, Bubble. Good night, buddy. I'll see you later. You guys have fun reading stories. Good night, baby. Love you. <laughs> he wants to watch for a second. <laughs> I will take you. Almost got him. A little bit more. There we go. We got him. Yeah. We've not Alright. Come what may, we will triumph. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's really, really fortunate, actually, because, like I said, this griffin has been attacking me for days. Literally for days now. And every time I get his health down a little bit, he'd just fly off. Oh, yeah, a little four-bit little four bit coming in saying goodnight. Oh, yeah, Jar Bear, shit, yeah, man. Your, uh, your Elder, Elder Maxim uh, cosplay that you did for... Oh, was that for your brother's wedding, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember that. Because, like, we had talked... I think we had talked about having my ex help you with the, uh, uh... The application of the fake scars or something like that. Because Maxim, he's got that... What is he? He's got, like, a big scar going down his face or something. Yeah, I always thought that was cool just because I'm a big nerd for Fallout 4 also. <laughs> Our party is well balanced. I can see no weaknesses that might be exploited. Capable comrades are a boon indeed. It is no great shock to me. Oh, what does this say? A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. Mm, is over as I, yeah. We have another matter to attend to in this domain. We might kill two birds with one stone, or focus on our current objective. Both choices have merits. All right, so I need to go find a, a... I actually... Oh, no. I may have actually made a mistake. Yeah. I'll have to go check my inventory. Uh, I forgot about this. Story? Um, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, you have to attend like a masquerade ball, and they give you some fancy clothes and a mask to wear. Well, I kind of went on a uh, purge everything out of my inventory kick and sold everything that I wasn't actually wearing. I may have sold the masquerade ball. Mask. It's the sort of thing you hear. I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to look. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from? Okay. I don't think I have that masquerade ball mask anymore. I can I can find some fancy clothes. I know where to go to get fancy clothes. I don't know about the mask though. This could be a problem. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I don't have the mask anymore. Oh man, I screwed up, didn't I? I'll have to look it up and see if I can get another one somewhere. I mean, you can probably purchase one somewhere. I don't know. Uh, let me double check my own inventory. Nope, 
course not. I have brain. All right, hang on. I got to look this up. <clears throat> Oh, actually, Jerry Bear, man, you could really tell I'm out of practice. Yeah, it's been like uh, the last time we went shooting at your place was the last time I went shooting. Uh, so it's been shit over two years now, at least two years, something like that. And uh, yeah, my uh, my grouping was pretty good, um, but still like not what it should have been, you know, because I... Uh, Previously, when I was practicing regularly, I could just blow the middle out of any target at pretty much any reasonable range for handguns. Uh, and uh, yesterday, my <clears throat> my shot placement was kind of all over the place. Mm, but that's how we go back and practice more. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can buy another one for 10,000 gold, maybe. Which I have that, so I guess we could if I need to. <clears throat> hmm. May have found a fix now. Let me see. Oh, okay. Man, I put my fucking fast travel stone in the wrong place. This is funny. Okay, I've only found... All right, let me, let me break this down how it actually works. Fast travel is really limited in this game in that there are only a handful of places where you can fast travel to these purple crystals here. Uh, the port crystal. <clears throat> there's only two that exist in the game that I know of. Uh, there's that are permanent fix permanent fixtures. There's one here in Vernworth. There's one just a short hop away over here in Harve Village, and that's it. Now there are ones that you can pick up and put in your pocket and then place them where you want them. Those are also extremely rare. There's only a few of them in the game. Uh, so I found one. Uh, I managed to find one. I actually found it up here in this uh, misty area up here, misty marshes. Uh, so I found one there. And I figured, well, let me place it in an area that's really far away to make it easier to fast travel to this point that's really far away. So I traveled to this other city over here, Bakbatali, uh, Bakbatal, uh, which is uh, another major capital city. Um, and so I put my my port crystal there. Now, I've had like three missions that have asked me to go to this uh, checkpoint rest town. It's like, well, fuck, man. I should have just put my fast travel stone here in the checkpoint rest town so I'd have one at like the halfway point between here and here. And I was like, nah, let me just put it at the furthest point there. That would be the smartest way to do it, right? No. Because now I've had three missions that want me to go all the way over to this checkpoint rest town. I think I can ride there by ox cart or something, but even that is kind of unreliable because the ox carts tend to get attacked by creatures on the road, like a lot, a lot. So pretty much just going to have to run back over there. Uh, is uh, Allegedly, you can buy another mask here. Um, any mask works. Okay. Any mask works anyway. Yeah, come on out after a day's gone, come get me back in shooting shape. Ah, 
oh, Jer Bear, yeah, I need to talk to you about that, man. Are you, remember you were having a lot of problems that's cleared up for you? You got that figured out? Dude, you got to call me. Um, Let's maybe talk over the weekend. Uh, Give me a call Saturday or Sunday. Uh, if you're not working one of those days, uh, give me a holler, man. I want to catch up. Uh, let's see, I also need to say hello to Mega Man, the Blue Lion. Mega Man, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, sell, 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 sell. No. Yeah, that, that's pretty much my experience with games like this. Because, like, I'll hang on to stuff forever and be like, I don't know, man, I might need that. Like, I've got a thousand crafting items in my inventory because, hey, I might need that. But then I'll get on a kick where it's like, ah, just sell all that garbage. And immediately after, fuck, I sold something I needed every damn time. Every time. Uh, anyway. All right. Uh, so any mask works. I think I do have a mask. Uh, right. Let me let me go check my inventory again. This guy's got my, well, my inventory. Get the fatigue of a long journey when treated to storage you. withdraw yeah here we go this this might work <laughs> it looks like an executioner hood maybe i can wear oh this <gasps> i see so this uh i see the symbol on it you can tell like these two have like a looks like an armored helmet symbol in the upper left hand corner of the square this one has the same helmet looking symbol but this one is a mask so I could put on this leather eye patch <laughs> uh, or the uh, the executioner's hood is what it looked like to me. Follow me if you would. Yeah. Sold it. I need it now. Damn it. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's pretty much my experience. So let's check. Uh, no, okay. This one, the icon on it is a helmet and I, I cannot wear it. So it's like a fighter helmet or something. But I'll bet we can wear this, this friggin' eye patch. That's interesting. Uh, no, and maybe I could buy it back, but I don't remember where I sold it. And also, I think stuff like that like disappears after a short period of time. If I recall correctly. Like once you've sold something, it's not going to be there for long. If you want to survive. No, these are all actually so helmets. Price, many thanks. I appreciate the business. Not buying? Yeah, no cap. I, I see your comment there. Well, I haven't used this stuff during the whole game, so I'll sell it. It's like I, it never fails. You get to the end of the game. It's like you're just about to go fight the last boss. Like, well, let me go sell some junk. I'll make some gold, buy some gear. Oh, shit. I sold something I needed. There are wolves attacking in the town here. That is the weirdest thing. I've never seen a game like this where enemies can follow you into town. I've had an ogre follow me into town. No, I had I had something follow me into town, and then I also saw an ogre spawn in town because I was just, like, walking around in town, and I'm like, hey, what's, go what's going on over there? What is all that commotion over there? Oh my god, there's an ogre in town killing people. Never seen that happen in games like this. I mean, like Skyrim, in some places, like dragons would spawn and kill people in town. Oh, but I've never seen, excuse me, I've never seen just random ass enemies pop up in town. How did a wolf just pop up in town? It's so weird, man. Need anything? Yeah, he's got the fancy clothes that I need, but he doesn't have uh, Stop by again soon. a mask. I'm curious to know if the leather eye patch will work. I'm, I'm going to have to look this up because I'm genuinely curious. It's going to be funny as hell if it works. Hmm. 
Actually, yeah, where do we get the beast Rin mask? That may help. In case this uh, eye patch doesn't work, I'll need to purchase the beast Rin mask. Okay, the scrap store sells it. Somebody in back of a tall sells it, which that's handy. I can just fast travel there. And a wandering merchant sells it too. And if I purchase the Beast Rin mask, it only costs 8700 which is, it's interesting. My character is a Beast Rin. I shouldn't have to wear a Beast Rin mask, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let me see where this guy is. Hmm. Who is that spamming them hearts? I love you too, sweetheart. Ooh, I forget. Uh, Fextra Life has a really good interactive map for uh, this game. It's an incredible map. I keep forgetting about it. It's like I said, I've been trying not to look up any... Uh, I've been trying not to look up any walkthroughs and stuff like that unless I just absolutely have to. I see. Oh, okay. Pretty much just right outside town there. Uh, let me pull up the map here. Come oh, to think wrong button. So he's going to be, yeah, just right in here. Like almost right where my stone is at. He should be about right there. Yeah, man, we're fixing to fast travel. Let's just try this. I'm going to go on and do that. Uh, damn, I'll have to use two uh, crystals. When the mind is split, the heart it's a bit expensive, but I need it for this main story mission. I really doubt that the eye patch will work as a disguise. You. <laughs> oh, you have an unknown accomplice? All right. <laughs> Okay, I need to withdraw some fast travel stones. Fairy stones. <clears throat> okay. And I also need to go steal some rich people clothes. Which, as I understand it, can be done fairly easy. Uh, you basically just walk into rich people houses and take their clothes. Works for me, right? Yon path leads not to our destination. <laughs> if you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our master's wishes. <laughs> See, let's wait till nighttime. I uh, know there's a bench right here, right? Aha, right there. Top of the stairs. Would you mind coming over here? Okay, so now that it's nighttime, I don't know. Actually, maybe we should do this during the day so that people are gone. I mean, if you're going to do a home invasion, you do it during the day, right? So people are gone to work. So I want to head down to like the noble district where the rich people live. Yeah. Let's see if we can go find some rich people clothes. Oh wait, I want these. This 
These are actually a really useful uh, crafting ingredient for me. I can use these sun bloom to make explosive arrows. Lots of fun. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Nary a thing more tiring than making conversation. The sooner my duty is prepared to be concerned and quiet. Ah. Well, I found some gold. It's a good start. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see yeah, if there's all we'll to go be get me found some. while we're here? Oh shit. May have to go rob more rich people. Not much going on. Oh, hey, don't jump off of there, dude. I was trying to walk around the balcony. Short round, 007. Hello, Dr. Jones. Right, follow me. All right, let's go rob some more rich people. Money, but no rich people clothes. Wealth is rooted in the soil of learning. Wait a minute, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. There's a shirt at least. I think all we need now is like pants. There's pants. Nice. We got rich people clothes. Hoorah. Unless I am much mistaken, we have caused to visit a place not far from here. Should we head there now? So it's safe. No, no, let's again. not head there now. Okay, let me check my inventory. That's the wrong button. Oh, there we go. Now we're dressed all fancy. Uh, let me take the helmet off. And put the... Mask on. <laughs> Look at this dapper looking fella. <laughs> All right, so now I want to make a hard save. And I'm also going to upload this save to the cloud. Now, this is one reason that I don't use auto saves, uh, I don't allow the cloud to sync automatically because I use it as a real hard save. So now I can uh, revert back to this save if I need to. 
Because we're going to go ahead and try to get into the Masquerade Ball with just the eye patch. We'll see if that works. Oh, no shit, it's going to close the game out. Well, that's fine. We have a save game. I'm just curious to see if this will even work. If the uh, eye patch does not count as a mask, then what I'll do is I'll reload from that actual hard save that we just made. Hey, wait, I've already done that. Oh, uh, wait, no? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, okay, I know what that was. Yeah, was there another task we were to All right, so now I want to make sure we have the... Here we go. Let's go to a masquerade ball, shall we? Somewhere nearby. When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. Here we are. We shall wait here. Fill your businesses. Done. I'm oh, Melissa, you heading out? All right, girl. Well, thank you for being here, and good luck with that situation at work. I cannot permit you to enter the masquerade hall in your current raiment. Really? It is ill-suited to the occasion. Should I maybe take the weapons off? How about now? You shan't be allowed to attend the masquerade in that garb, sir. But I'm wearing the fancy clothes. Fine, whatever. Now it looks like we are gonna have to go and get the a mask of some sort. All right. Fine, whatever, whatever, whatever. by a beast rin mask. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? Let's see, where is he? He should be right in here somewhere. Though we may have to wait until daytime, I'm not sure. This might be him right here. Have a gander at my wares. No, that's regretted. not him. But let's see. What, oh, he this. Okay, it's a different person, but he has the mask. Ah, oh, cool. He has a couple of masks. What is this? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, wow. Now that's kind of cool looking. Actually, hood of non-entity, a hood that covers the wearer from crown to collar utterly concealing their gaze and expression to aid them on the path toward inexistence. Damn, all right. That's actually kind of badass. I, I'm like legit digging that one. It's very expensive though. And like this one uh, looks like an angry kitty cat. And this one is just like a kitty cat. This, this one actually would look just like me. <laughs> Now, the walkthrough that I looked up said any mask would work. I'm just going to get the cheap one. Let's equip it. Yeah, it's equipped. Pleasure Cancel. Business with you. Our packs are heavier and our purse is far lighter. Okay. And then I'll need to fast travel back to the main city here. And we'll try it again. Try to get back into the masquerade ball, see what happens. 
I really hate that I had to use two fast travel stones on that. This Those are, they're not a common Why item. But it said any mask would work. It's time to find out. So it was a fascinating tale. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I, I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Here we go. I cannot permit you to enter what? the masquerade hall in your current raiment. It is oh, ill. Oh, shit. This was not my intent. Man, no, dude. It said any mask would work. Well, that's a mask. All right. So we are going to... I'm gonna have to reload from that uh, save that I uploaded to the cloud a minute ago because I'm not gonna waste those two fairy stones for literally nothing. Absolutely not, man. All right, let's restore from the last save here. Yes, please. Okay, we'll go back in and try something different, I suppose. All right, so everybody, did you make sure to like the video? Did you make sure to hit like? Uh, are you on live chat or all messages or whatever it is on the uh, platform you're on? I was not. I was on top chat, but I fixed it. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so this should pop us up um, before we wasted those fairy stones to fast travel. And I got to figure out where to get another mask at, man. Like I said, the walkthrough that I looked up said any mask should well, work. Some of the task we were to see to somewhere nearby. When the mind is split, and it the didn't. heart must lead. Or so I've learned. Yeah, it's just this one. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. Somebody's made a post saying they lost it, but no one has responded on that one. Shit. There is another option, though. Yeah, it sounds like the walkthrough didn't actually try them all. Okay, so we will have to go back to, uh, we'll have to travel over here to the checkpoint rest town. Man, I should have put my port crystal there. Anyway, um, mm -mm -mm. okay, so let's get back in our gear. I want to have my armor and weapons on for sure. Boy. Yeah, equip that. I uh, equip that. Take that off. Equip that. And no, that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I really felt like that was going to work, man. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Regarding the queen, I mean, I guess I could have tried like the uh, the beast rin mask or the mask of non entity that might serve the proper purpose, but I don't know. Yeah, I think we have to wait till morning to head out on the ox cart. 
I'm not sure yet. I haven't actually done it. I see the ox cart is there, but I don't know if they'll actually travel up. It's not morning. Oh, yeah, Cap, using that trick to level up your Ghost of Tsushima characters, yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, if games have an auto-save system and only allow you one save slot, that's the only way you can have an actual hard save that you can restore from. Apologies, but I can't offer you... Why not? No, because it's still the middle of the night? Okay. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They relatively safer travel, yeah. Though they travel only what you need of me? Yeah, right, homie. Piss off, I'm sick of looking at you. Uh, what did you say to me? <laughs> That's what I thought. Hey, I put my sword up. Oh, this is how it's done. I see. Okay, that makes it where you are actually waiting for a cart that will take you. Maybe. This ox cart's bound for the... Ch I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I'll pay that if you'll actually get me there without getting attacked. All right. And doze off. Let's see if we actually get there without getting attacked. If this is where I fall. Yeah, here we go. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. I can't allow any further harm to come to you. You already get them? Just a couple of wolves. Ah, not so bad. Just a couple of wolves. Now we'll wait until we get back. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how much this is going to cost, but several of the uh, results that I found said that you should be able to purchase uh, any, you know, like quest items that you've misplaced. You should be able to purchase from this uh, forgery merchant up here. see if I can find him again. I don't remember exactly where his shop is at. I think it's around the side here. Yeah, here we go. Here it is. Okay, so I guess I could make another hard save here. You didn't want a refund on that fare, I know, right? And... Yeah, I don't guess we necessarily need to upload another save here. Let's see if Welcome, let's see what sir. he's got for me. You think me a liar? Then buy something and see the truth for yourself. I see. I believe this is it. View special finds, and here we are. He's got the uh, he's got the courtly breeches and the courtly tunic, which I'm not buying. I've already stolen another pair. Uh, but this this we should probably go ahead and buy because that likely will get us in and I do have the money for it so yeah might as well well I didn't actually mean to equip it I do want my armor Hope on instead again. our packs are heavier and our person oh okay I can wear it even with my all right it's I have it on even with my armor on well that works all right well now let's see if we can take the ox cart back to the main city uh I could potentially fast travel there and only use one stone. Oh, hey, what are you good at? I am at? attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In bat. Nope. Till I shall. And I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Of course I am. Slim pickings of late. Need anything? Here we go. Yeah, I didn't realize that bell was there to summon the ox cart. Here we go. 
This ox cart's bound for Vern. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Yeah, why not? Let's see how it goes. Hey, we made it all the way back to town. Man, I'm hungry. Like, we just ate dinner and I feel like I'm hungry again. Damn. Let them talk. I'm too old. Might have to go get a little snack once we finish up here. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. I wonder if I needed to be here during the day instead of coming up at night. It's a possibility I had not considered. <laughs> and also, just in case, let's go ahead and take off this uh, cape as well. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Does working on a pot farm make someone hungry? I mean, I guess it could do, yeah. Uh, the boss lady's pretty cool. She brings uh, cookies and donuts and stuff a lot. <laughs> For folks that have the munchies, I suppose. Well, we got in. I bet I just needed to be here during the day. I'm... Mm, I'm really tempted to load that other save. Restore the save from the cloud. Let's see if I can do that without spending any of that money, but I'm I'm not going to. I actually don't know. Where is the... I actually don't know where to go. Hang on. Yeah, we have the wrong one equipped. Let's do this one. All right, should be folks having a ball around here somewhere. A masquerade ball. Hello. No masquerade in here. But we do have some loot. Uh, the courtly tunic and courtly breeches. <laughs> All in one spot. Oh, great. Yeah, that is a cool boss. Yeah, there, man, I, I do have to say, um, the, uh, the manager that actually runs the facility there is a fucking badass, man. He is uh, the... Hardest working supervisor I have ever worked for. Uh, this guy is just, just incredible person to work for and works just as hard, works harder than most of the other people there. Uh, and then uh, the company that I actually work for, they're, they're kind of like a temp service for the cannabis industry here in Colorado. They hire people and then send people to work at different grow operations uh so i have i have two bosses basically the company that i work for and then just the management at the grow op that i'm currently stationed at uh <clears throat> so yeah the uh the boss lady that works for uh the temp agency she's the one that brings cookies and donuts a lot Like, I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Perchance you've heard. Is this a party? <laughs> is soon to be held, it seems. Doesn't look like any party I've ever seen. Glorious combat with the dragon, indeed. There's a weight off my heart. I've been nicking 
Gonna have to look up another walkthrough. It's another one of those where there's just a big yellow circle and no indication of what you're actually supposed to be doing. Here we go. <laughs> Apparently, it's something that a lot of people had trouble with because it's like the top. I didn't even have to type in the full thing. <laughs> and it's like, how does one blah, blah, blah? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now it's time to attend the masquerade. Well, it does actually say head there at nighttime. Guards let you enter. Okay, so I do need to be here at night. That was... All right. I was thinking maybe that's what I was doing wrong at first, was trying to come in at night because they weren't letting me in. Uh, we should have a bench. I think there's a bench just right outside, uh, right outside the castle gates here where we can pass time. Ah, good. You returned. Yeah, there it is. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Here we are. Yeah, Cap, absolutely, man. A hard-working boss inspires the team to work harder, better than anything else. And I'll tell you, the dude, dude, the guy that is actually like the, the manager for that facility, total badass. I see him working just as hard or harder than anybody else up there. Even like crap jobs that are like, I kind of don't want to do that. Man, if it needs to be done, he'll be in there doing it. I, I love it. It's it's incredible working for bosses that actually work. Uh, actually work, you know? Because I know so many people, they'll promote up into management to get out of doing real work. Like, that's their primary goal for promoting into management is so they don't have to do any actual work anymore. Those kind of people make me sick. That's a personal opinion. All right. So, fucker, better let me in here or I'm killing all of these people. We're going to do a kill everyone playthrough. All right. Well, as long as you let me in, I will comport myself with the utmost civility and not shoot you in the face with an arrow. All right, we're in, finally. I do think our sovereign's enjoying himself. Yeah, a boss or a leader. I don't know what happened. Is it supposed to follow that guy or something? Is that what that was? It was telling me to follow, old boy? Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batar. Oh, hi there. You following me into the hallway? Not but tedious talk of golden governance. Best to remain sober. Much to be done on the morrow. Ah, second floor. All right. I don't recall having seen any stairs up. Oh. Yeah, this is actually a little bit frustrating. It says follow him to the second floor, but I haven't found any stairs anywhere. Here we go. 
No, this is not it. This is not up to the second floor. Yeah, you can't even go that way. Yeah, Ryan, that's a good point. The best supervisors, they know when to delegate and when to just pick up the slack themselves, yeah. Okay, where are the fucking stairs that allegedly go upstairs? <sighs> I'm gonna have to pull up a fucking video walkthrough of this so it will actually just show me where to goddamn go. Ugh. <sighs> Anybody see any stairs that I'm missing? Fuck it, we'll just walk look up a video walkthrough. I cannot afford another night of cavorting. Breadth of knowledge is no less important than depth. Always sets you to think this place. I'm dressing for these occasions awfully tedious. What? Okay. Now we're caught up to where I'm at. You walk inside. Gain access to the ball. Here's the cutscene of the guy walking around the corner. Follow him. First door on the right. false door but no that well I don't know because the walkthrough I was just looking at didn't say anything it said you f go the stairs up and then find the false wall there it is Those new recruits could barely lift their fucking assholes alright And just didn't. Maybe through here. Ah, here we are. About damn time. Well, now, you're. What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. Well, scour all the light. In here. Open up. Open this door right now. Mm. Mm. Well, now I'm intrigued. You're dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. <laughs> Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business have you here in the noble's playground? Hmm? <laughs> You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. You could say that. Would you be looking for... A peephole? This? Oh my goodness. Naughty girl. Come on then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? <laughs> I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. 
I, I know. <laughs> I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. <laughs> Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. Mm, bit of clipping and there. That was weird. We now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such... Oh, I can look around. I didn't realize I could look around. ...with one another. Lord Phasus. <laughs> wow, they are revealing themselves super conveniently, aren't they? That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here? I wonder. Death and destruction. If you came to learn of the sovereign, we'll then get to that. As you have seen, the man is not but a ale swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where's then the real where sovereign? Our true Hi, it's me standing right behind you. Let's go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come I see wonder me if she's figured that out. When air you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. All right. So now what? Report back to Captain Brandt. Ah, okay, boss. Oh, <laughs> loot. Always be looting. And we got a bunch of flowers. That's exciting. Actually, I kind of want to keep looting. Is there more stuff to pick up around here? Oh, look, there is. Yoink. It's like a, basically like a scroll, a one-use spell, one-time use. Yeah, let me get out of here before I get lost. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. Our party is reunited. Surely Nylon girl, 92. What's going on? Welcome in. Okay, so I've got like three things to go tell Captain Brandt about. Follow me, if you would. Hmm. Here we go. We have arrived. And here he is. Like a save game real quick. Oh, you got to see a bit of the eclipse? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I uh I was telling him earlier, uh my boss brought a couple pairs of the the uh, little like eclipse viewing sunglasses and he was kind of passing them around so folks could go out on their break and have a look at it. It's pretty cool. I think I think that's actually the first time I've ever like actually stopped to watch one with the Absolutely. correct type of glasses. You have been invited to attend the coronation. It would seem congratulations are in order. 
You will, of course, require Raymond befitting You've already done that, dude. What? Now to report to Captain Brandt. Yeah, we he's standing right in front of me. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. There we go. Yeah, I've got like four things that I've uh basically already handled. It seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubt mayhap to be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. Mm, okay. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? Hell no, that's mine. Uh, I lost it. No, I don't want to give you my, like, permanent jail key that can't be broken. No! Oh, a total solar eclipse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when is that supposed to happen? Do we have another one coming up in the next few decades? Oh, is this your first time being able to actually see one? Yeah, me too. Oh, you were in totality. Wow, okay. Nice. We are not. Uh, it was about maybe one third for us, I think. Fine, you can have the damn key. I thank you. Pray. Take this. Asshole. That was certainly worth it. Yeah, fairy stone's handy, but I'd rather have a permanent jail key. Because the jail keys in this game are one use, generally. Or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. I am not ready yet. Praying is there aught else you would speak of? Yes, majesty. everything else. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention... Oh, wow. No, that's crazy, Nylon Girl. That's awesome. Jesus, was it? Kind of surreal, huh? He seems a man of import. And yet, pray, allow me to investigate this man. So the false sovereign... Queen Regent Deesa and this Phasus fellow are all worth. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear. Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the. T ah, but of course. Mega Man had no idea there was an eclipse. Suppose the bill. Knew it was going to rain. But it got nighttime dark, and you had to step out, and then you saw it. Looked cool as shit with the lightning going off in the distance. Dude, that's bad. That's like some days gone shit right there. Wow. A clever plan. That's fucking awesome. Furthermore, tool serve as an attestation to Dara's existence. We shall remain all the while. The doubts lurk in a clever ploy indeed. I've no you That thief maester's a capable sort. I'd wager this will make life rather difficult for the Queen Regent. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen or shall change one if your majesty has any unfinished business to very do it. Might as well. is to take place on the morrow. I had we read that once you finish anymore. this, you Good get majesty. another uh, of those port crystals for fast traveling to set your own fast travel point, but either that was mistaken or we just haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> you had to celebrate that moment, huh, Mega Man? I've been hearing about this where your pawns can get some kind of disease. He refuses to obey me. There's a voice within my mind. It commands me. Sways my very will. Sways your will? Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. What now? Let us return to the tavern. Oh, he just laid down on the grass, absorbed by the view. Wow. That's cool. It's fucking awesome. Hello. She looks cool. What in the world? 
is going on here. We've been had. <laughs> and it should be noted, I'm allergic to grass. Been itchy all day. Damn. The false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own mm. powers have risen. According to Region King Sven, the pretender was wearing some, some sort of amulet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's the false arisen is wearing an amulet that gives him the ability to control pawns, which makes him actually able to, which, like I was saying earlier, that makes him actually able to impersonate the arisen. Because I, I was thinking earlier, well, only the arisen can summon pawns, so it should be pretty easy to prove that this guy's a pretender. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. Hmm. Ah. Oh. a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to it. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Oh, you were in school last time you saw one, yeah. Damn, the whole concert stopped for a moment. Wow. Uh, where were you at exactly? You, you were at a concert? Never could I have imagined such an outcome. See it. What manner of artifact is this God's way? That's messed up. Pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brad's investigation. Oh, I see. I think it's going to be after, after this. Okay, because we're supposed to be getting another port crystal soon. Or some of this. All right, wait for Captain Brandt to get more information. Where is my house at? We're nearby. Yeah, here we are. I can uh, rest here for free. Let's rest Yet until the next rest night. Is an important duty in its own right. Oh, just a little local show. Well, that's cool. Riverwalk Pavilion. Cool. Oh, oh. My pawn is going nuts. Oh, okay. That's weird. Dragon's Plague has struck, leaving a trail of innocent lives in its wake. The pawns who brought the illness into this world have now been returned beyond the rift. If only you had been more observant, perhaps this tragedy could have been prevented. Assess the situation. Uh, bitch better have my pawn. I know that much. Uh, where is the... Oh, wow. Like something has happened and a lot of people have died. Um, okay. Wow. Let me go and find... Shit, where is the stone that lets you summon more? Oh, yeah, it's inside this place over here. Let me see if I can get my pawn back. Yeah. Bitch better have my pawn. Oh, and... Shit, what about the two I was traveling with? Oh, man. Hey, does anybody know if there's a way to get back uh, pawns that you were traveling with recently? Solid sativa. Small potatoes. I need a beer. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Oh, yeah. I had been told there was a way to get back people that you traveled with recently, but I don't recall seeing that as an option anywhere. I mean, I guess it 
had I favorited them or something, we could like search for them or something like that, but. Hmm. Damn, I'm just going to have to get two whole new pawns now. And it's kind of tricky because I am have a very specific set of skills that I like for my pawns to have. When I can't find them, it's a little frustrating. I had two really good pawns, too. Pretty good. They can cast a shield spell for me. This one can cast... Uh, Celerity, which is kind of like haste from Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons, if you're familiar with that. This is one I need to go with. This one. And... I like that one that's got celerity. That is nice, having celerity. What was this other one up here? Yeah, good enough. These will work for now. Uh, later, I may spend more time looking for ones that are more specific, but these will do for now. My talents lie in combining materials. This and dude I'll looks weird. To craft things. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not. And where's the other one? This one. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle. I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to... That's nice. All right. And speaking of beer, I'm going to go grab a beer, dude. Uh, one sec. I'm literally... I'm not even going to go to the pause screen. On, I'm not going to go to intermission or whatever. I'm just going to run to the fridge, grab a beer. I will be right back. Hang on. All right, we are back. See, told you it wouldn't take long. Oh, yeah, Stickman. No, you came back right in time, brother. I just got you a beer. <laughs> oh, you having a rolling rock, Ryan? Yeah, I prefer uh, Michelob Ultra, but uh, Claire likes just regular old Bud. Uh, and the convenience store down the corner. Right, right down the road here on the corner has a pretty good deal on uh, just a regular 12-pack of Budweiser. So that's what I usually get. I know Claire likes it, and it's inexpensive. All right. Okay, so we have helpers. And we're about ready to actually do this mission here. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. Where's the entrance to the inn? Here we go. Oh, shit. Captain Brant's dead, too? Perhaps we ought to yeah, we'll revive him. He's... We got to. <laughs> find out what's keeping our quarry. Yeah, let's see if we can make any other catastrophic mistakes. Well, see, I... I've read about the uh, the disease that can strike your pawns and make them go nuts, but there's allegedly supposed to be signs of that. <clears throat> I don't. There is much. We I didn't see him acting weird. We are to strengthen your majesty regarding the matter of the godsway. I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past 
bore the crest of the yeah what aren't we about to mess up yeah this ought to be found therein yet official dealings twixt patal and brumund are suspended passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task i've already been there dude i got a fast travel stone set up now such hindrances in mind i thought to prepare this pray take it they pass through batal's fortress save beastron merchants with some coin i was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit hmm. <laughs> what ass we about to kick most fortunate that your majesty eastern border entry permit okay the border checkpoint without on neutral port crystal that's what i've been waiting for a second port crystal nice disease hitting your palms <laughs> been there <laughs> cannot guide you from here. yeah mess up all the things <clears throat> Weapons are simple enough to procure if we have the coin. But we might be lucky enough. So we can actually fast travel there, but I think what I'm going to do, rather than fast travel, I think I'm going to uh, take a cart to the uh, checkpoint town. Let's go back to the map here. So I can take the cart again back over here to this border checkpoint town. I'll set a port crystal there. Uh, cause that's actually been an important location that I keep having to go back to. Uh, I'll set a port crystal there and then I'll have one. I'll have a fast travel point in the main capital city. One in this little village right here. One in this little village right here. And one in this little village right here. And then I'll be able to pop around pretty easily. And another one, if I find a third or uh, an additional one, then this town up here, Melv is a place where a lot of like main story stuff happens <laughs> miss palm and her five sloppy sisters oh my goodness what a dirty girl yeah all right let's go and i'll do a couple of other things first tidy up my inventory There's just corpses everywhere. This is Probably generally used permanently as messed up. Hey, wait a minute. Where is my house at? A different combinations of materials result in different. Got conditions. drunk and got lost on the way to my own house. Let me let me research just how devastating this actually is. One second. Like, did I actually mess a bunch of stuff up here? What did they call that? The dragon plague or whatever? Here we go. Dragon blade killed everyone. Any NPCs that are essential for the plot will respawn. Well, they better. <laughs> yeah, see, none of this happened. It, someone says here that this doesn't just happen out of nowhere. Your pawns will show signs. Their eyes will be red. They will not pay attention to your commands, and they will be grabbing their heads. I never saw any of that. There was never any of that. We had a cutscene. We talked to an NPC. We had a cutscene. Everybody died. I, there was none of that. Yeah, Dragon Plague. Yeah. Was he flap? Was who was flapping their arms? I didn't catch that. Oh yes, yes. That was one of my helpers. What he was doing was he was signaling, "Hey, this way. I know the way to the quest marker. Hey, this way." 
Uh, so they will actually lead you to uh, various quests. That's one of the cool things about this game is like the pawns, when they're not following you, they're with other players learning about other quests. So sometimes uh, the pawns following you, if they have knowledge of the quest that you're working on, they will lead you straight to uh, quest markers. They'll take you right to the NPC you need to talk to. Uh, they'll take you, they'll even uh, find like hidden stuff for you. Like there was one earlier where the road was blocked and the pawn, one of my pawns knew a way around it to take another path. Uh, so it's pretty helpful sometimes. Uh, but yeah, that's what it was. He was trying to get my attention to let me know that he knew the way to the uh, quest marker. Oh, oh. I see. So the Dragon's Gaze item that we were given uh, will lead you to the location of basically revive crystals. Uh, the a one up, the <laughs> one up mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but what I need to do. Okay, he does have his stuff equipped, right? Yeah, he's all decked out. Nice. So we're going to dump some stuff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Got to go home and take a dump real quick. Inventory management is really a big deal in this one. I need to use that. This is the item that shows me where the revive crystals are. These are quest items. armor and weapons there we go now I can put the rest of the crap back in the box Make sure nobody else is carrying anything they don't need. Nope. Good to go. And rest until morning. Ah, how I've longed to embrace my bed. Yep, so pretty much everything that's not equipped. Yeah, I'll keep like curatives and stuff. I'll keep a little bit of stuff like that on me. Nylon Girl, inventory management. Makes you want to play some Resident Evil. Oh, Ryan, you going AFK for a bit? All right. Okay. I was attacked. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go then. Ready to forge on? I reckon. And let's see. Oh, I 
I see. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn inventory always filling up. Yeah, I uh, I found my inventory always filling up with those uh, upgrade items. What I don't remember what they're called now, but it's the stuff that you like socket into your weapons to add special effects to your weapons. Because I would go out and like farm. Uh, I would go out and farm certain creatures that dropped good upgrade items, and I would just fill up with them all the time and the crafting materials and stuff too oh god did the ox cart guy die also oh my donkey balls really because the dragon plague killed a bunch of people including the ox cart guy that's awesome off with you off with you punk <laughs> the watcher lenses, yeah. Jeez. Here we go. Okay, they've respawned. Good deal. This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your money. Shut up. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Oops. I uh, just closed. Dang it, Junior. Hang on one second. I actually just closed out of the live stream. I, I have it up in the background so I can, like, watch for quality control purposes. Let me get it back on screen here. Yeah, that's what I would do. I would keep, like, I would only keep, like, five of everything uh or like you say like partial stacks if i have a partial stack just sell off the partial stack and keep one full stack of everything there we go hmm okay Ooh. uh when does it start starts in two days oh shit okay i don't know i from most of what I've heard, uh, we're ex folks are expecting good things, but we'll see. It falls on me to resolve this. Oh, the bones and the pelts and stuff. Yeah, that can be frustrating. I remember that, trying to upgrade stuff. Hey, check it out. We made it all the way to the town without uh, incident. might find a use for it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I want to set a port crystal here in town. Just put it off to the side over here somewhere. You should probably do it outside of town. It's this way. Actually, this looks like a perfect spot. So what I want to do is go into my inventory and find my port crystal and use it. And what it will do is it'll just plant it on the ground right now here. We shall be able to transport ourselves here at any time. Now we'll be able to transport ourselves here at any time. Provided we have a fairy stone with us. There we go. That's handy. This is kind of that point in the game where things start to get a little better. Uh, because you can set up multiple fast travel points. Oh, hey, she's actually pretty badass. Yeah, she has the shield spell. She can do holy magic. She can do healing and she can cast lightning magic. So 
So if I were to hire her, who would I have her replace? This guy is just entirely too goofy looking, man. What can he do for me, though? He's the one that casts Celerity, which is the haste spell. He's also the one that gives me lightning magic on my weapon. Yeah, we're going to hang on to him. Sorry, hun. Just don't need you right now. You're actually pretty badass, but I just don't need you right now. All right, so now if I still have a fairy stone on me, which I believe I do, and I do, we'll be able to travel to uh, this place where the quest is at. Yeah, there we go. See, now we're making progress, man. Now we're making progress. Uh, I'm curious, how many hours do I have in this game? Uh, we're currently at 39 hours. We're at 40 hours into the game. And uh, I'm only now able to fast travel to multiple towns. It's nuts, man. It really makes you feel like you've earned it, though. Okay. I don't... I actually don't know where to go. Wrong way. Maybe. Probably. <laughs> we love you, Nightbot. Nightbot's doing the thing, man. Oh. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn to visit the Rockmouse's Borough in Bakbatar. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Farewell. Mm hmm. I don't know who that dude is. He's popped up several times, but I don't know who he is or why we should care yet okay we can get there this way i believe this is intended as a means of transport it would be interesting to see where it might take us i can foresee no reason not to make use of this here we go what business have you here gomer black magic hello hello Does what's going on man you... the arisen be at ease i bear you no ill will my name is Manella. <laughs> Spirit guide, apparently, yeah. Come. Let me buy you a drink. Oh. Okay. Come. Let me buy... Come to think of it, I would sooner forget the time I fell in battle. Being separated from our master must have been hard. Tem the people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, same as Vermont. Sardinia, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Mm. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. Tis a bargain a residence more than permit. fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in back Batal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Sure, why not? I am to hear it. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. And we've already been doing that. in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. Well then, sir. How might I be of service? <laughs> Solid sativa, I'll drink to that. Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned, is residing in Batal. 
Shall we go and meet with him? Methinks actually I might since we're in town. You're looking for. You know what? Yeah, I can tell him go and he should take off and show me right where the guy's at. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. You can, uh, they will sometimes lead you to your quest marker when they're not spazzing out. Oh, okay. He is telling me go this way. All right. Yeah, let's go, man. That's one of the things I really love about this game is that the helpers in this game are actually helpful. It's not like Skyrim where all your henchmen, all they really do is just block doorways for you and carry your burdens. Short round lurking. I appreciate you sticking around, man. The Forbidden Magic Research Laboratory. That sounds like a fun place. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar of the tall coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. Ambrosius. <laughs> All right. As a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. Interesting. All right, well, let's follow this cat to the quest. Following along, I trust. Take unintended because he's a cat person well met. you there Ever oh my gosh if not well look no further as it so happened now i've no home here well how much so i thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at rather than a crowded in well, thirty thousand what say you Sure, why not? Decision, sir. Do be Here you are, dear. I mean, I know that sounds like a lot of money, but actually money is pretty easy to come by in this game. And also, uh, at the same time, the inns are extremely expensive. Uh, you could pay, like, most places are like 2,000 gold per night. Uh, so that's like 15 times. If I camp 15 times, this place just paid for itself. And let's make sure we're on the correct quest. Sculptor's block. Yeah, all right. It's right over here somewhere. I think this is it, actually. <laughs> yeah, stick man. Uh, they deliver the killing blow and you don't get any damn XP. I mean, shit, most of the time, I, I generally play a stealth archer in Skyrim. I mean, obviously, what else would you play in Skyrim? Uh, but if you're playing an archer in Skyrim, most of the time your henchmen just jump in front of your fucking arrows and get themselves killed. Uh, or they block doorways where you can't get through the door or they uh, just complain about... I am sworn to carry your burdens or whatever. <laughs> One who cannot master time soon becomes its All right, let's see. I am lost. Here we go. Oh, hey, there's a book in here. Doink. Oh, this guy is still trying to take me somewhere. Oh, it's around the corner here. See, this is the perfect example. My helper just led me to the exact door I need to walk into to finish this quest. I'm over here, right around the corner from the place. And if you look on my map, it looks like we're we're at a home here at the yellow quest marker. No, it's actually around the corner. And my helper was able to show me that. Huh? What in the... Where did you come from? Did Clark send you? <laughs> Short round, you're just going to watch this till you fall asleep. Watching the eclipse took a lot of energy. Okay. Oh, hey, check it out, man. What's up? Uh, Mr. Quasimoto, Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cthulhu's Karma. <laughs> 
dude, I'm loving this game. I mean, I'm absolutely having a blast with this game. It's a very unique gameplay experience. A lot of stuff is just very different from what we normally expect out of role-playing games or like action adventure role-playing games. It's very, very different uh, from what you would expect out of games like that generally. Certain things are just kind of unconventional the way they handle it, which I like. It's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, you're on the one with your alt account, your, uh, your alias, right? That's just an alias, isn't it? Oh, no, he did, didn't he? I'm sorry. I I'm really, truly very sorry. I haven't slept a wink, I swear it. Well, I suppose I might have fallen asleep <laughs> once or twice, but I simply... You've been lazing about, dude, don't lie. Well, I am glad that... You've been smoking that devil's lettuce and not getting any sculpting done. You know what you did, young man. I can only depict subjects that I've seen with my own two eyes. Which makes things rather difficult, given... Say, you appear a rather strapping sort. Would you be persuaded to bring me to a griffin? I mean, I've killed several. I could take you to their corpses, I suppose. To see this done. And you'd be doing me a great... I've heard aught of a griffin's nesting place. I shall await you there. Do mm. keep in mind, mm -hmm. that you must needs drag the battle out if I'm to complete my sketch. Of course... Well, it generally uh, takes a minute to kill griffins like anyway, so, I mean, you're probably going to get what you want. Oh, I could look at it as long as I pleased if you were to petrify the beast. And then... I could pretend that the petrified statue of the griffin is one that I actually sculpted and make money off of your hard work while not doing anything at all. I'm on to your game, sir. No. Indeed. <clears throat> but I can't petrify them yet. Frozen in. Tis said that a famed sculptor of Eld used a Medusa's severed head to petrify her subjects before sketching them. <clears throat> of course, I wouldn't presume to demand aught so legendary of you, Arisen. I only ask that you aid me in completing my sketch as best. Then I shall depart at once. So interestingly enough, I believe you actually can kill a Medusa and take its head and use it to uh, petrify people. But I don't know where to go to get a Medusa head just yet. Make for the meeting place. He wishes to gaze upon Dude, if this is your skills as a sculptor, bro, you suck. Shall we go where we a bit? Looks like a kid drew it with crayons. Pray, allow me to show you the way. 8-bit terror. Welcome and in. Uh, who is Rex yelling at? <laughs> uh, this dude just doing a chicken wang over here. Oh. <laughs> ah, there is Quasimoto. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, just, yeah, watch from both accounts, man. <laughs> yeah, right on. Ah, Ryan is back from his short break. Nice. Uh, now, I don't think I actually want to do this quest just yet. I don't know what these symbols mean. If you notice off to the right, uh, each of these quests has like a hand symbol and a number. Uh, these are both numbered one. This is a totally different symbol, a blue hand, and this is a number two. I don't know what this means. I don't know what those, the different color of the hand and the different numbers. I do not know what that designates. I thought maybe one was like main story, like number one would be main story. Number two is like optional side missions, which tracks a little bit, but I'm pretty sure this one is not a main story mission. I think this is an optional side mission. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Claire, I remembered to ask him. He said, yeah. I've already asked him about it. Thank you. <clears throat> now let's go on and do this. And actually, hang on. Where is the location? Uh, well, it's not that far from here. Just north of town. <laughs> Eight bit terror lurking. Yeah, this game looks badass. 
I'm really pleased with the visuals, just the the visual style in this game. I love the way stuff looks. It looks like a place I want to go explore. Ooh, I forgot though. This is actually really tough combat here, and it is damn near nighttime. And I don't think do we have any campfires nearby? Well, There's one not too far from here. Yeah, there are some really tough enemies in this area. I actually really struggled getting here the first time. Uh, as I was a little bit lower level. Over here, if you please. Didn't have quite as much good gear at the time. And there is some serious opposition on the way to this city. In fact, there was a spot that I, I pretty much just had to run from it because there were two different Cyclopses in the exact same spot. And like one cyclops we can handle pretty easily but two of them at the same time was like tough like really tough <laughs> stomp on her fucking head <laughs> see that shit fucking harpies boom bow down kick you in the dirt stomping on her fucking head <laughs> i love that kick move man it's killer Where'd she go? Oh, they might be immune to lightning. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, I love it. So close a call offers no solace in victory. We were overconfident in our abilities. That was impeccably timed. No, we, <clears throat> we weren't at all overconfident in our abilities. We were not oh, at all overconfident in our abilities. We came in and kicked their fucking asses. Yeah, the graphics are really sweet in this one. I'll check this out. This is... Oh, yeah. I I haven't even engaged this dude over here yet. Let me make a save game real quick. These, uh, these enemies, these golems, man, these guys are really difficult. You can only hurt them by hitting the glowing sigils on them. It is literally the only way to injure them. And I believe, I could be mistaken, but I believe they're virtually invulnerable to magic damage. It's like, uh, I could have it backwards. It's like, you can only do physical damage on them, or you can only do magic damage on them, one or the other. I can't recall which. But I do know for a fact you can only hit them if you... You can only harm them if you hit these sigils and they're they're just in specific spots where that's like all you can hit Let us see. Well done. and what's what makes it even more challenging when you deal enough damage to one of the sigils it breaks you can't hit them there anymore uh, right there we just broke that one so now i will have to i'll pretty much have to change positions so that i can attack this guy from a different angle that's pretty much our only option here to round on him and get him from a different angle working out well so far but you end up kind of backing yourself into a corner where you have very few options for where you can hit them there we go we've just damaged another one so i'll have to change positions and get to another one of his weak points oh and there's my helper trashing one of them nice good job buddy get out of here before he readies up another big attack i see he's got one on the inside of his arm there that we can hit i just saw it exposed dude would you just climb the fucking rock please Monkey titty fuck. See, he's got one on the inside of his right elbow, man. That's such a tricky spot to hit. A little bit of damage on it. Oh, shit. One of my helpers is down. God damn it. He's killed my tank. I guess while he's frozen, I'll run in there and try to revive my tank. No, this is not going to work. We're going to die. 
So you can actually pick up your helpers and run off with them and get to cover. There we go. This might work. That is a nice feature. You can, like, in Skyrim, you know, like I was saying, I would quite often accidentally, uh, like, shoot my helper with an arrow. They just end up walking in front of your arrows and you kill them accidentally. Oh, shit. Oh, run for your life. I think I just died, actually. Fucking monkey cock. Wow. I wow, load from last save. Shit. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is, uh, you know, in Skyrim, your helpers would end up just walking in front of your arrows and getting killed. There's really not much you can do about it except load up another save if you have one. In this, uh, if you have time and opportunity, you can just run in and pick up your helper and pull them back he to, uh, to safety. A griffin firsthand. Hey, where's that golem at? But not Dude. Shall we go oh, that's uh, okay. Oh, well, there's two Follow of them. Right. Holy shit! There are two of them right here. Well, the golem rises to meet us. Our ice attacks are wasted on this bow. Ice attacks are wasted. Okay, I think I actually have lightning damage on my bow. At least we have good cover here. Try to be a little bit smarter about this and make good use of our cover. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Well done. Well, let's put some damage on him. Hey, where do you think you're going, young man? Celerity ability. Yeah, now we should have celerity. Boy, if you don't climb that goddamn rock, swear, whatever. Sometimes the movement can be a little bit funky. Spunky. Get up here. Then get up here. I know you can do it, okay? There we go. I know you can climb these fucking rocks. Oh, my any fucking... Okay, I'm actually a little bit upset now. I know you can climb those rocks and then not fall off of them. Let me catch up with the chat. Yeah, golems are heavily resistant to magic. I think that's... I mean, some of them are immune to magic. Some are immune to physical. Uh, I think in this case, it's magic. It's like you have to do physical damage to them and only in their... Uh, only on those weak points. Oh, ca caffeine, you got to drop for a little bit. All right, bud. Yeah, no worries, man. Only hitting my secret spot will get you anywhere. <laughs> oh, is that what happened, Quaz? We took down one of them and then the other one came in and joined the fight? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Playing the latest video game since 2015, so you don't have to. In hunting down such ravens. Right, let me get in that red stuff. That's good stuff right there. The red stuff is fast attack. Oh, down. Be still so I can attack your weak points. It's imperative to our to the ground in aggressive advantage. I'd not dare attempt such a feat alone. Together, I think we can manage it. We disabled? Okay, we just disabled that weak point. I see the one on his chest there. It's, uh... Pull back. Eek! Oh, I motherfucker just killed me in one shot. Just one shot at me. Oh, uh, okay. I think we're done here. <clears throat> Return to title screen.
We will try this later when I am fresh and well rested, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, plus we've gone about two and a half hours. That's a good long stream for me. All right, let's see what we have going on in the community. So check it out, man. Most of you here are already members. I'm going to put this in the chat for folks who don't already know. Maybe you're watching this later. Uh, we're going to resume our members only co-op gaming session soon. Uh, we'll be, uh, I think Gauntlet is the game we're going to do first. And then we'll, we'll play some other games also. Uh, so, uh, we'll, uh, announce the, well, shit, actually we did come up with a date, but I don't remember what it is. It'll be sometime in May. Uh, we'll be starting up the members only co-op gaming sessions. So if you're not a member and you've been thinking about joining as a member, that's a real good reason to do so. That makes you eligible to join co-op gaming sessions with us and, and other members of the community will be there as well. What I like about that, it's a curated gaming experience where you know the only people who are going to be in that gaming session are people that we choose to allow into that gaming session uh so there is that uh let's see let me throw this out there because we have days gone com coming up soon i want to put the merch in there uh if you are coming to days gone com maybe consider sporting some merch while you're there with us um let's see uh, uh, uh. hey let me put the throne wish list in there it's been a little while since we got anything uh contributed to the channel from the throne wish list that throne wish list is a way that you can see exactly what i need for the channel uh and or just cool stuff that we want like maybe we want to display it in the stream room here or something like that so the throne wish list lets you see like specific items that we need so maybe you prefer to actually purchase a gift rather than just contributing money that's what that is there for also uh stuff that comes in from the throne wish list is like you know that's going to be in my hands daily we've got some really helpful stuff recently we got um the playstation 5 controller charging docks where we can sit two controllers on there like not only is that useful for keeping your controllers charged up but it's useful for organization too so like we use it we have them we we, we got one uh contributed to the channel from the throne wish list and we liked it so well we bought a second one uh, so now we have one for each PlayStation so we can keep our chargers like organized and where we want them and keep them charged up as well. It's absolutely awesome. We use them literally every fucking day, every day. Thank you, Barafi. We use them every day. I have a, a powered USB plug here, a USB port. Uh, we were having some, we were having some issues with like having too many devices plugged into our USB hub here. Cause we have like the capture card is plugged in. We have a external hard drive plugged in. We have the mouse, the keyboard, all kinds of stuff plugged in. We use it for our flash drives and we were having a bit of trouble with it. So, uh, we were gifted a powered USB hub. Use it every fucking day. Every day we get value out of that item that was sent to us from the throne wish list it's summertime now or it's spring it's coming around to summer i'll be mowing the yard a lot uh a while back uh our viewer floyd rocker uh contributed a an actual rechargeable battery for my outdoor uh lawn equipment i use uh you know battery powered lawn equipment so i'm not wasting fossil fuels on stuff like that as much uh and uh so it's it's like that's something i'm gonna be using all summer long man it's it's that's an opportunity for folks to contribute something to the channel that we'll use regularly if not every day specific stuff that we need so like that's why i kind of get excited about it because it's actually actually useful stuff and like gift giving is kind of stressful for me i don't like to spend money on stuff unless i know for sure it's something the person wants and i don't really like receiving gifts unless it's something i actually need you know i don't like getting stuff that's just going to sit on a shelf and collect dust that that's pointless to spend money on stuff like that to me personally uh, i'm not a collector of things uh so it's like again that's why i say that's such a cool thing is just because it's stuff that you know we need stuff you know we're going to use uh i'll stop talking about that let me see oh yeah hey we got stuff in the chat here 
Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I got to get that Bear Trap Tavern shirt. If you, Yeah, fuck yeah, man. If you're coming to Days Gone, come. Get your Bear Trap Tavern shirt. Yeah. Um, Gauntlet was one of the very first sword and sorcery games. Responsible for many a youngster spending their entire allowance. Yeah, it's also responsible for a lot of people getting their introduction into, like, um, you know, the, the action RPG type games. Uh, let's see... Yeah, Manscaped comes to mind. Yeah, I actually just had to buy a new uh, a new electric clippers for my beard because uh, the old one crapped out on me. Uh, so yeah, actually, maybe I should put one of those manscaping uh, trimmer thingies on uh, on my throne wish list. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so laughs> oh my god. Uh, now my mind's going in the wrong direction. Then you can gift me something that you know I'm going to be using on my junk every day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh all right folks hey seriously seriously thank you for joining me for dragon's dogma this evening i'm having a blast with this game man yeah it's challenging yeah i'm not that good at it yet but i'm really enjoying it i appreciate having a justification to continue playing it and continue streaming it uh, so seriously, man, thanks for joining us this evening. I really appreciate it. And if you're watching this later, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comments that you enjoy this and want to see more of it. Or tell me to fuck off and play something else if you're serious about it. Let me know. All right. That's what it's there for. Um, all right, guys. Um, yeah, I reckon that's all I got. Uh, why don't y'all show up tomorrow morning? 8-Bit Terror, host of the Days Gone podcast, is doing another playthrough of Days Gone on her channel. Uh, and that'll be 8 a.m. Mountain Time, uh, right over there. And, uh, yeah, she's, uh, making good progress on it and having fun. Um, and you know, it's one of those things where if you are a fan of days gone, you will never learn more about the game than during an eight bit terror days gone live stream, because she knows the lore, she knows the game, and she's always looking for new fun ways to do things that we've never thought of. Uh, so yeah, make sure you pop over there tomorrow morning, have a ch have a look at that and that's all I got for now, man. I'll see you guys either there or I'll see y'all Wednesday evening for some more Dragon's Dogma. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs>